Now with an aging population here in Canada, old age security and the longevity of it is obviously of some concern. So OAS is paid out of federal government revenue and counts for roughly 15 and a half percent of the total amount taken by the feds last year. So there's been nothing tabled around this, but being in the business for 20 years now, seeing different trends, I would say that there's a potential for either more of a clawback down the road, so maybe a lower income threshold, or maybe the threshold doesn't change, but the percentage, instead of a 15% clawback per dollar, maybe it's 20 or 25, so much stronger clawback, that maximum would be much sooner. That might be one option. Secondly, they might bump old age security back to 67. Again, that's just my opinion. There's no data out there, no research being done on that that I've seen. But again, you have to look at data, use common sense and say, hey, there might be a problem on longevity here. Let's make sure we fix this before it becomes broken.